The Western Forestry Leadership Coalition is a state and federal partnership. Our goal is to provide healthy forests for today and tomorrow. Uh, healthy forests are the gift that keep giving, or as our retired chief used to say, the goose that lays the golden eggs. The golden eggs are things like uh, quality recreation opportunities, wood for society, energy, uh, water obviously is a huge one, particularly in the West. The challenge we face today at a time when we need our forests the most to fight air pollution and greenhouse gases is that many forest landowners are converting their lands to other uses. Logging, timber mills, and wood manufacturing have been the lifeblood of many rural communities. What we are seeing in many of our western states today is that we have conditions that are threatening both the economic health of our rural communities and the ecological health of our forests. In today's world, we are not able to create the kind of um, uh, processes and environment in the healthy forest or that create healthy forests. And whether it's existing industry that creates studs for home construction or building uh, construction or new industries for um, uh, wood pellets or renewable energy or uh, cellulosic ethanol or whatever um, technology may be holding the future, may be holding for us in the future. We need the industry there to help us um, put on the landscape and sustain those healthy lands. As harvesting of the wood from our western forest is reduced, that creates tremendously overgrown forest condition, which is a huge fire threat throughout the West. Additionally, businesses and workers that depend on timber harvests fill the economic pinch of less production, which ultimately translates into less community vitality. In the past, the forest products industry was the economic mainstay of many rural communities in the West. If we are going to be successful in returning the health of our forests, it is going to take all of us, uh, whether it's federal land managers, uh, tribal leadership, private landowners. It's going to take all of us working together to share the resources to do the landscape level treatments in order to uh, achieve the goal of healthy forests in New Mexico. Harvest fell across the West by about 52 percent from the peak in 1988 until the economic downturn in 2000 and 2001. Much of this decrease occurred as forest products companies restructured to cope with the loss of federal timber until we reached the point today where only about 8 percent of all of the wood used by forest products companies comes from federal lands. In New Mexico, as we have witnessed the demise of our uh, forest products industry over the last 30 years, uh, we have seen uh, rural communities especially not have the opportunity to, to harvest the material and get it out of our forests and then to turn that into a profitable uh, product from which they can make a living. And as our forest products industry uh, has gone away and not, not having our rural communities uh, uh, being able to help us deal with this situation, uh, it's not being done. And the uh, buildup of this material, since it's not being harvested, the buildup of this material has resulted in some very uh, dangerous, catastrophic wildfire. What we need to examine is what will be the future of Western forests. It's ironic that at the very time the world is concerned about climate change, and we know that forests are our best air filters and can store carbon, it is not profitable for landowners to own and sustainably manage forest land. To me, a green job is something that contributes to the long-term sustainability of the land health. For the forest products industry working in concert with our land management plans and our what we call the desired future we're trying to create on the landscape. Um, the, 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 the workforce that does that, that's engaged in that kind of work, particularly with something like a renewable resource like trees and the wood that comes from trees, I consider green jobs. And to me, there is such an opportunity to put the economy to work to create 
um, an environmentally sound system of lands and landscapes. And the combination of green jobs, not only for economic stimulus and providing viable jobs for people for the things they need, but also creating a healthier landscape um, and healthier forests in, in our case, uh, it's just a wonderful combination. And it's a, the opportunity, I think, is right now in front of us. But it's going to take both. You can't do one without the other, in my mind. Another innovation for wood is the use of renewable fuel. At a time when America has limited fuel resources and is so dependent on fossil fuels, wood can be a really incredible renewable fuel source. We've got two brand new large-scale pellet plants or mills that turn the, the dead lodgepole into uh, pellets that people can burn in their wood stoves. And so we've got two entrepreneurs that have gone up to the counties in northern Colorado, created uh, industries where we haul the, the uh, dead lodge pole, in this case, to those industries. And they've got some very, uh, I've been to both mills, automated uh, facilities that turn those trees into pellets. And then they're shipped in bags so people can heat their homes. And with the, the, the high efficiency stoves we have now, the emissions from those stoves uh, are virtually nothing. partnerships are, are fundamental to it working. First of all, you've got lands that cross multiple jurisdictions. We've got private lands, public lands, state lands, and federal lands all mixed together to do the kind of work we need to do to create the healthy forest and sustain the healthy forest. The partnerships go even beyond that. They go to the private sector. And so here's an opportunity for a public-private venture where maybe the lands are public lands where we need the forest treated to, to maintain its long-term health, but the private sector provides the money and the capital to do that. That's a public-private partnership that's been in place for many years and we need to enhance that even more. The also there's the partnership with communities, the people that actually live in these areas. It's their backyard, it's outside their picture window, uh, they're worried about fire or other things that may come from the forest and affect their private land. And so we need to partner with the communities to make sure that our land management objectives and what we're trying to do on the landscape are something that they support and will support over time. So I, I just, you know, it, it's just the way of doing business. We cannot do the work we need to without partnerships. And that includes the private sector and the industries that come with that that will help us create long-term forest health. The future of our forests will require new thinking, new technologies, and new ways to make owning forests profitable. If we think big, if we create partnerships, and we create synergy together, we can do it.